Hi, welcome back. If you're new here, I am Dr. Dex Makalintal. I am a doctor specializing in lifestyle medicine based here in the Philippines. I'm your real nutrition doctor. Here on this channel, I give information on nutrition and medicine. So if you're interested, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell para updated ka parate. Again, welcome to our channel. Dito sa Lipa City, Batangas, napakaraming holidays. Pagkatapos ng Pasko, didiretsoy ng bagong taon at darating din ang piyesta. At dahil marami yata napakayan sa inyo nitong mga nakalipas na holiday season, eh marami din talaga ang gustong magkaroon ng weight loss. More than that, marami nagsasabi na gusto magbawas agad-agad ng timbang. And more and more people are really falling for the trap of fad diets. People tend to go to the extremes para lang ma-achieve nila immediately ang weight goals nila. And more often than not, pumupunta sila sa mga crash and fad diets. So fad diets are really extremely restrictive. Minsan kumakain ng isang uri ng pagkain lamang katulad ng dinaskas ko dito. And this is really not healthy for anyone to do. Recap lang natin. Fad diets are those diets that claim extremely absurd and fast weight loss na kadalasan ay endorsed by celebrities. And their promises are too good to be true katulad ng sinasabing hindi mo na kinakailangan mag-exercise. Also, fad diets have proponents na nagsasabi na o oh, ito na lang kinakain mo dahil cure all ito. Kapag ka mga ganyan mga claims, these are too good to be true, kaya naman, baka nga. So ang tanong, sa dami ng pangyayari the past year, kadalasan ay work from home, some people were even retrenched, kaya naging sedentary ang lifestyle, dumaan pang napakaraming holidays, how do we really get back into shape? When you go to a doctor and then ask them this question, they will tell you to counter calories and exercise. Ilang doktor na nagsabi sa inyo yan, pero kadalasan ay nafrustrate pa rin kayo dahil parang wala namang nangyayari at parang wala tayo nakikita ng improvements. Kung ganito ang experience niyo, I think we need to step back a bit and take a look at what's happening from another perspective. So here are some tips for you. Baka useful. Number one, exercise. Ask yourself, nare-reach ba talaga natin ng 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise? Baka naman nakatimer nga tayo ng 30 minutes pero mas marami pa yung rest mo kisa sa workout. Remember, to develop muscle mass and to eliminate fats with workout, you have to work out with less rest and more reps. Another tip here is to take away your phone. Hindi porke nakapag-start ka na ng exercise, eh, ipopost mo na. Pipicture ka lang ng after workout glow, tapos sa katotohanan, 5 minutes ka lang naman talaga sa treadmill or stationary bike. Friend, real talk, sinong niloko natin? Also, baka save lang tayo ng save sa mga telepono natin ng mga workout regimen. Pero hindi naman natin ginagawa. So, sino nag-exercise? Yung telepono? Number 2, stay hydrated. Huwag mong antayin na uhaw na uhaw ka na bago ka ubinom ng tubig. Usually, kinakailangan 9 cups of unsweetened beverage for women and 13 cups a day for men. But if you have problems with your hearts and kidneys, consult your physician. And also take note, unsweetened beverage na sinasabi dyan ay tubig, not soft drinks na zero. Number three, you can do time-restricted feeding. Have a consistent feeding window under 12 hours in length and stick to it consistently, seven days a week. At sabi nga natin dito sa video natin on fasting, remember na mas maganda na may kasamang breakfast pa rin yan because of the circadian benefits and what we call chronobiology. Fourth, eat foods and mostly plants. Ang sabi nga natin, more of whole foods, plant-based diet. Hindi naman sinasabing vegan or vegetarian. Just around 70 to 80% will come from plants to capitalize on complex carbohydrates, fiber content, and antioxidants that can help us not only with our weight, but also with our ongoing inflammation. Remember, weight is determined by calories in and calories out. At kung mas marami fiber-containing foods from plant-based products ang makukonsume natin, mas konting calories calories ang makukuha natin from the foods. And one of the best examples niyan ay ang pagkain ng patatas. Maraming klase niyan, may reset, may red, white, yellow, purple, fingerling, and petite. Meron ding frozen, meron ding dehydrated potatoes, but all of them carry almost the same nutrients. Isang 148 grams medium-sized skin on white potato gives us around 110 calories, 26 grams of complex carbohydrates, 3 grams of protein, 
30% of daily value of vitamin C, 620 milligrams of potassium, and 2 grams of dietary fiber. Ako, personally, I enjoy eating potatoes and sweet potatoes. They are actually more similar than you think. While they contain almost the same nutrients, white potatoes offer more potassium and lower in sugar, while sweet potatoes are higher in vitamin A. I feel full when I eat this type of food. Pero don't get me wrong, hindi lang yan ang kinakain ko araw-araw. I try to eat a rainbow every day, meaning iba't iba ng kulay. This makes me fuller at less calories and helps me to stay in shape. Hindi masyado mabigat ang chan, kaya nagagawa ko parate ang activities ko. And I also have the energy to do my exercise daily. So there, that's real food for real performance with potatoes. Pakatandaan na walang shortcut sa pagpapapayat at walang shortcut sa pag ng healthy weight. Trust the process and enjoy the journey. These are just some tips. Wala pa rin tatal sa pagkakaroon ng proper consult with a physician, with a nutritionist, at kung kinakailangan, even behaviorist and exercise physiologist or physical therapist para mas holistic ang ating approach to healthcare. Di ba nga ang sabi natin, we want to bring back the care in healthcare. So let us take care of you. And I hope meron po kayo natutunan sa video natin for today. If you did, please click the like button and share this to your friends. At kung hindi mo pa nagagawa, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell para updated ka parate. Muli po ako po si Dr. Dex. I'm your real nutrition doctor. I'll see you in optimal health.